In this video, we are diving deep into the current situation of AMC, specifically focusing on the real value indicator, AMC's earnings, and the funding pressure that has been building. This analysis is backed by various observations, including a key tweet we'll discuss further. Hey, welcome to AMC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone, remember this is not a financial advice video. To start with, let's look at Cinemark, a major competitor of AMC in the theater industry. Cinemark hasn't consistently surpassed its earnings expectations quarter after quarter, yet its stock price remains significantly higher at $29 per share. Meanwhile, AMC's stock price is far from reflecting its actual value, even though AMC is performing much better in various metrics. Yesterday, we touched on a comparison between the stock prices of Cinemark, IMAX, and AMC. We looked at their stock performance, and it's notable that despite AMC's stronger operational performance, its stock price is lagging. Cinemark's total debt as of June 2024 was $3.41 million, and its revenue for the three months ending on June 30, 2024 dropped by 22.1%, down to $734.2 million. This decline was substantial, yet Cinemark's stock price remains relatively stable, raising questions about market dynamics. In contrast, AMC has been doing an incredible job in the industry, and if you compare its operational metrics against Cinemark, it's clear that AMC is outperforming by a significant margin. However, AMC's stock price remains suppressed, and many wonder why. The key difference lies in the ownership structure. Retail investors dominate AMC, whereas institutional investors hold the bulk of Cinemark shares. This difference plays a crucial role in explaining the divergent stock performances. While AMC is doing much better operationally, the heavy influence of retail investors seems to lead to its stock being unfairly punished in the market. It's essential to keep in mind that when looking at the earnings comparison between AMC and Cinemark, the difference in stock performance becomes even more perplexing. According to a tweet that we'll revisit later, it becomes evident that AMC is consistently being suppressed by market forces designed to shake retail investors' confidence. This suppression includes a downward pressure algorithm designed specifically to break retail investors mentally, forcing them to capitulate. The current share price is a distorted reflection of AMC's actual value, heavily manipulated by market makers who exploit mechanisms such as payment for order flow. The manipulation doesn't end there. There are dark pools like Citadel Connect and Virtue that allow the sale of fake shares, which further dilutes the actual market and puts downward pressure on AMC's stock price. This explains the phenomenon where, despite retail investors continuously buying AMC shares, the stock price barely moves upward. The daily stealing of buying pressure through these mechanisms ensures that the price doesn't rise as it should. This manipulation creates a false narrative that AMC is underperforming, when in reality, it's the market forces at work behind the scenes that are responsible for the disconnect between its true value and the displayed price. Interestingly, this isn't a new tactic. We've seen large institutions spoofing AMC stock by placing massive sell orders at ridiculously low prices, such as 3 million shares at 001. These phantom orders are intended to create an illusion of oversupply and to further suppress the price. Spoofing is a clear sign that the big players in the market are scared of AMC's potential. If they weren't afraid of AMC's potential to surge, why would they go to such lengths to manipulate its price? We've seen the same strategy being applied to other heavily shorted stocks like GameStop, GME, but AMC seems to be the primary target right now. When you compare AMC's performance metrics to those of Cinemark, it becomes even more puzzling why AMC's stock price isn't climbing. For example, AMC's Q3 2024 revenues amounted to $1.4 billion, with a profit of $12.3 million, showing significant improvement compared to its Q3 2023 figures. This improvement can be attributed to several factors, including AMC's successful restructuring of its debt and the Federal Reserve's favorable interest rate changes, which saved AMC over $10 million in interest payments over the past year.
On top of that, AMC posted its best-ever EBITDA month in June 2024, further proving its operational success. Despite all these positive developments, AMC's stock price remains under pressure. This is partly because the box office numbers, while slightly down, are still strong enough for AMC to post profits. For instance, the Q3 2024 domestic box office ended at $2.665 billion, a slight increase compared to Q3 2023, which ended at $2.650 billion. AMC's ability to generate profits despite slightly lower box office figures shows that the company has become more efficient. However, despite these facts, market manipulation continues to suppress AMC's stock price. Why then is the price of AMC so low? As we've mentioned before, it's all about manipulation. Short sellers and hedge funds have trapped themselves in a position where the only way out for them is if AMC goes bankrupt. This is their ultimate goal, as it's the only way they can escape the massive losses they face if AMC's stock price surges. However, the fundamentals of AMC are strong, and bankruptcy seems highly unlikely, much to the dismay of those betting against the company. Retail investors, affectionately known as apes, have been holding on to their shares for years, despite the pressure to sell. As a tweet from Robert mentions, no one is giving up after all this time. The retail community continues to support AMC, and as long as they remain united, it will be difficult for the hedge funds and short sellers to succeed in their efforts to bankrupt the company. The apes are not just holding, they are also sharing valuable information through social media, helping to keep the community informed about what's really going on behind the scenes. One important thing to note is that even though the price of AMC doesn't reflect the buying activity, each purchase forces market makers to create more synthetic shares. When the time comes for these synthetics to be covered, the short sellers will be in deep trouble. This is why buying AMC shares, even if it seems like it's not making a difference right now, is actually contributing to the eventual short squeeze that could send AMC's stock price skyrocketing. In terms of broader market dynamics, we're seeing that the U.S. repo activity is surging, exacerbating the funding pressure on institutions. This pressure is making it increasingly difficult for hedge funds and short sellers to maintain their positions. The Federal Reserve is supporting major banks like Bank of America, allowing them to post bullish earnings despite the ongoing liquidity crisis. However, this support won't last forever, and when it runs out, we may see a major bank collapse, which would have a ripple effect across the market. Citadel, one of the major players betting against AMC, relies heavily on Bank of America for liquidity. As Bank of America struggles with its liquidity issues, Citadel will also be affected, putting even more pressure on the short sellers. This could trigger a fire sale of assets, forcing the short sellers to cover their positions, which would lead to a massive surge in AMC's stock price. In conclusion, while AMC's stock price may seem low right now, the fundamentals are strong, and the manipulation that is keeping the price down will eventually come to an end. The retail community remains strong and continues to buy AMC shares, which is creating more synthetic shares that the short sellers will eventually have to cover. When that time comes, we could see a significant price surge, so it's important to stay informed and patient. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.